Psalms 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. When David changed behavior before Amalek, who drove him away and he departed. But David said, I have tried God. And he found out that God is good. So I've been running a series of God is not imaginary friend. And this would be part four of my series. That God is not imaginary friend. My subject today is I have tried him. Now, there are 10 S of those people have tried God. And the reason why people think that your God is imaginary because you don't have a relationship. You don't have a personal relationship with him. You got a persona. You got a church relationship. Meaning you go, you, you go to a building and people know that you are a Christian because you carry a Bible. People know you're a Christian because you're Ika Masanda. People know you're a Christian because you're dressed in church clothes. But people ought to know that you are a Christian when you have a personal relationship. Not a persona, not a, a, a makeup, but a personal relationship with God. God has called us from, from sin to salvation. We are not sinners anymore. We are saved. We are sanctified. And we are filled with the Holy Spirit. So there are 10 S that signify that you are a, you have tried him. Let me go down through the S, my friend. Savior. Save. Separated. He glowed to God. Satan. Single. Amen. He glowed to God. They, they have been filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. They studied. They love the scripture. They live by the scripture. And they know the difference between secularism and sacredness. And 10, they are sold out. Let's talk about, let's talk about salvation. Let's talk about save. Let's talk about, do you know the Savior? When Jesus Christ was going through Philippi, he asked the disciples, who do these men say that I am? And some say thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, but, but Peter say thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus Christ said, flesh and blood have not revealed us unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. So a lot of people don't know the Savior. The Savior is not your money. The Savior is not your man. The Savior is not your job. Your Savior is Jesus Christ. That's number one. Number two, they are saved. What? They are delivered from sin to salvation. I come to tell somebody, my friend, you either a sinner or you save. Amen. They're in between. If you are a saved person, you know that Paul say, it's not me that do it, that sin that lie in me, but I don't use excuses for sin. I don't say I'm human. No, I have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is my guide. It will lead me and guide me into all truth. And the Bible says, quench the Spirit. Amen. Despise not prophesy. So you are safe. Hey, God. How you can say Acts 2 38, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. To the Bible says, Today you hear his voice, hard not your heart. That's number, number two. Number three, they are separated from the world. My friend, we are different. Amen. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. The world loves its own, and the world don't love us. He grow to God. The Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What's of the world? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world pass away, and the lust thereof. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I'm here to help you that we are separated from the world. Number four. Hey, glory to God. They don't follow Satan. Ways. Amen. They don't serve two master. We only serve one master. Hey, glory to God. And he's not glory to come on now. He's not uh, Satan. 
we follow the Savior. We follow Jesus Christ as our master. Hallelujah. Not Satan. Hey, glory to God. Number fifth thing, they are single. They have the gift of singleness. Amen. If you have tried God, and if single, if if you say you are single, if 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 they say you are the gift of singleness, that means that no man should be coming out to your house. Amen. No man should be playing with you because you have the gift of singleness. He glory to God. And if you're married, you're married to one person. Amen. But people that say they're single. Amen. You are not to be, hey, glory to God, be giggling. You are not to have the man come out your house at midnight. You say you are single and you are, you are happy. You say, God, you say, Jesus Christ is your husband. Why does man come out your, the back door? Amen. Why, why does man come at midnight from your house? If you have the gift of singleness, single people, my friend, they are sold out for, for Jesus Christ. Amen. The next one, number six, they are filled with the biblical Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, my friend. The Holy Spirit come with nine, nine fruit. Hey, hey, amen. And, and if, you, if you say that you have the Holy Spirit now, you must manifest these nine fruits of the Spirit. Amen. And, and the first fruit that a lot of people are missing, hey, glory to God, which is very important is love amen when you have when you have the holy ghost my friend the gift of the holy spirit is love because love cover the multitude of sin amen so the bible say but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith Meekness, which means humility, temperance, which means self-control. Against such there is no law. But a lot of people don't have love. They're always miserable. Don't have peace with all men. Holiness without no man shall, shall, shall see the Lord. Don't have long suffering. No one suffer for a long time. They quit before they suffer. And gentleness. The Bible said be, be ready to give a, a, a answer a, a, with gentleness and respect. Goodness, they're not good. They're no good. They mean and nasty. And faith have covered God. And meanness, being humble and temperance is self control. My friend, these are the biblical fruit of the Spirit. And if you don't manifest these fruits, my friend, you don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Number seven reason, they glory to God. They don't study the Word of God. When you study the Word of God, my friend, you don't you don't believe everybody's testimony. Amen. Like I was talking to this, this young man. He glory to God and say, Do you believe that one safe always say, say, nope, I don't believe in it. But God is not an ending giver. The Bible said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you always until the end of time. And the Bible said, My friend, can no man pluck you out of my hand? So Amen. When you study the word of God, the Bible says rightly dividing the word of truth. Hallelujah. So study the word of God. If you try God, you will study. Jehovah Witness, they, they know this stuff. Seven day events know this stuff. He glory to God. But Christian, man, hallelujah. We ought to know the word of God. Because the word of God, the Bible says, don't live for the meat that perish. The Bible says, hallelujah, uh, uh, the word of God, perish. The, the, everything will perish, but the word of God will be, be here forever. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The mouth of God is the word of God, the Bible. Number, number eight, they, they live the scripture, which is the word of God. They they not they not just hearers of the word, they are doers. The Bible is a mirror. And each time we, we look in the mirror, the mirror is examining us, my friend, to see whether we are in the faith. The Bible says, examine yourself. So when you live by the word of God, the Bible says, just don't be hearers of, just don't live with your lips. Let your life we are living epistle. We all, if a person never read the Bible, my friend, people ought to be reading us. 
and they want to get into the Bible and say something about you. You ought to say, I'm, I'm a Christian, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm a Holy Ghost veil. Amen. So they live the scripture, the word of God. And number nine, they know the difference of secularism and being sacred. You got to know the difference between secularism, secularism of the world, and sacred. You are set apart to represent Christ. You are ambassador. You are not embarrassment. Hey, you are not a bastard. You are ambassador for Christ. So when you are sacred, you are set apart. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God has called you from darkness to the marvelous light. So when you are sacred, my friend, hey, glory to God, you are different. People can know that you don't need no sign on your back. You don't need a bumper sticker on your car. You don't need no hat like I wear to represent Christ. My friend, your life speak for you, not your lips. Amen. The Bible says these people draw with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. And, and number 10, my friend, I'm gone. They are sold out for Jesus Christ 24-7, not just on Sunday. Amen. Have you tried, have you tried, have you tried God? If you have tried God, my friend, you are sold out. That means the Bible says we are bought with a price. Glorify God in your body. The Bible says present your body as a living sacrifice. When you are sold out for God, my friend, there's no time for sex. There's no time for slow drag, slow jam. There's no time for 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 uh, uh, worldly music listening. He glory to God. Call your soul. You got no room. He glory to God for the devil. You have no room for the world. You have no room for Luther. You have no room for Rihanna. You have no room for Chris Brown. You have no room for Luther. You have no room for Michael Jackson, my friend. Why? Because you're sold out. You are fanatic. Amen. But you, you're not so much fanatic to the point that you're, you're condemning people, but your life become an example. People want to be, the Bible say, he that when his soul is wise. So when you have tried him, you are, you are sold out because you, you remember the first day you got saved, you was on fire. The first day you got saved, you want to tell everybody, you want to tell your friends, your family, and your foes that come see a man that changed my life. The woman at the well, the woman at the well left her water pot. And she went to the city and told the man, come see a man and tell me everything they have done. What happened? She had sold out. Mary Magdalene, my friend, one of them had seven demons. And Jesus Christ said, the reason why she here, because she she was forgiven many. And, and those folks that have been forgiven many love much. I love Jesus, my friend, more than anything in this world because there's nothing on this world that I value more than my salvation and my, and my soul and the Holy Spirit. That's my value in this life. There ain't nothing else, my friend. The only thing in this world is pain. The only world is property. And the only thing that in this world, my friend, People, glory to God, I become pricey. But I value my salvation, I value my soul, and I value the Holy Spirit. So I'm sold out. Can you, can you say that today? Can you say that you are sold out for Jesus Christ? When you're sold out, my friend, you have no time. You have no time for, for men to go up and up and then you, you, you're not married. You have no time for a woman, hey, glory to God. You lay with a woman that's not your wife. You lay with a man that's not your husband. Amen. When we are solo, you have no time to be cussing. You have no time to be swearing. You have no time for racism. You have no time for isms. You, come on. Why? Because you're sold out for Jesus Christ. There's no room for you. Hey, glory to God. It's all about the Satan. The Bible says, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow Jesus. A lot of people are wearing the cross. But they know what a cross represents. The cross represents suffering for Jesus. When the Bible says, For much as Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself likewise, he that suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. 
So when you tried God, you know, you know the Savior, you are saved, you are separated. Amen. You don't follow Satan. You have the gift of singleness. Hey, glory, glory to God. And you are filled with the biblical Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and you study the word of God. You live the, the scripture. Hey, glory, and you know the difference between secularism and sacredness. And number 10, and I'm gone. They are sold out for Jesus Christ 24-7 and not just on Sunday. My friend, may God bless you richly. And God is not imaginary because I have tried him. And God have changed my life. If your life is not changed, you have not tried him. Amen. Because David say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So when David say, oh, taste and see, other people can see that David have been changed. Because David don't cuss no more. David have a new company of friends. And David have the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. And David waiting for the second coming, amen, of Jesus Christ. My friend, I come to tell you, he can change your life if you want to be changed. Amen. I'm, not, I'm just not making this thing up, my friend. I'm telling you from experience, if you want to know Christ in a pardon of your sin, you got to have a relationship with him. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread. And forgive our debt. I forgive our debtors. Lead us up to temptation. But live from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power. And the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have you tried him?